Uh, my name is Steve. I'm with Walter, obviously. This is our Surfox uh, well cleaning and passivation system. And uh, what, what this unit here will do is it, it will clean uh, MIG, TIG, and spot welds on stainless and aluminum. This is good for demo because it does everything. You can also mark and etch with these units. This has a reservoir in it uh, with this cleaning solution that gets uh, with a pump that gets pumped through the wand and into the brush to clean the workpiece. And there's a there's a current that goes through the, the brush into the brush and uh, static cleans up the uh, weld. So the beauty of this is it's it's uh, efficient and safe. It's cost effective. On stainless, there's a there's a chromium layer, right, which is what protects product from rust. So I, I always compare it to like, a, you know, getting a cut on your arm. If you uh, put ointment, antibiotic ointment on there, it seals the cut and brings that skin layer back. That's what this does. When they weld and you get weld burn and you get contaminants on the surface, it affects that chromium layer, which makes it rust. So you want to clean that up after a weld. The old way of doing it, uh, or a lot of times now they'll use a non-woven <coughs> hand pad and get in there and clean it up, which is kind of time consuming and labor intensive. Or pickling paste, which a lot of people use pickling paste, or that's more the old school way of doing it, which is very toxic. It's not good to be breathing that in, so it's not a good way to do it. This is very safe and quick. This unit here, you just plug it into a regular 110 outlet. Um, you've got a ground, which goes right in here, so you always ground your workpiece, just like you were welding. And there's a reservoir here where you put in your, your tea solution, which is your cleaning agent. We have we sell that in different container sizes. So that goes into here, and then um, you've got your on-off button here, and then over here is the uh, liquid flow. So this regulates the flow of the liquid through the brush. And you notice over here there's a hand, looks like a stop sign, but it's basically the manual mode. So you, you put it on that setting, and then your wand would be worked manually, an on button on the top, off button on the bottom. So you would click the on button and then clean your workpiece and then shut it off. That's manual. If you put it up like this to 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, <coughs> that, that would be automatic and the, the solution would go through the brush into the tip of the brush just automatically. I usually go like 10 o'clock. Then over here, you've got aluminum, stainless, and titanium. So depending on what material you're working on, Majority of the time it's probably going to be stainless or aluminum and then titanium for marking. So there's a small wand, a large wand, or I'm sorry, a large wand, a small wand, and then there's also a marking wand and cleaning, uh, polishing wand that can go into this outlet here. It's an accessory that you buy. So that's it right there. I'm going to put that on large wand on stainless. And then over here you have an AC mode and a DC mode. AC is for cleaning and marking, and the, the DC mode is for polishing and etching. So it's, it's really self-explanatory. Uh, it tells you right here what this is. It's easy to understand it. I usually keep the power right on two. If you turn it up to three, there's a little more amperage that goes through the, to the workpiece. Keep, we'll keep the flow right here. And then we got AC mode because we're cleaning. And on two, I could put it right in the middle. So this is a simple process. The beauty of this too is you, you have limited PPE. You always want to protect your eyes, like anything. Um, and you want to have gloves. Uh, if you're in a confined area and the fumes are bothering you or you're getting a lot of fumes, you know, if you're in a tank or somewhere tight, there is an air piece on the back, a coupler on the back. You just hook regular shop air up to that, like 80, 90 PSI, and it will bring air through the hose and out the tip of the the wand and uh, keep the kind of blow the fumes away from you. So you use brushes or pads. This is how you attach the pads. So you would take this off. You would take this part out and put the tungsten carbide insert on there and then put the pad around like that and then you shove it into the here and there's a little o-ring that you it comes with the pads in the bag and it goes you put the o-ring in here and then you put you put the pad down into there and it put, makes a collar around the pad and keeps it on to the tip of the, the insert. I prefer the brushes. I think they're a little easier to get in the tight spots around the weld. But the way it works is the, the brush is just thread right onto the tip here and the solution gets pumped through, through the wand and through the tip of the brush. Every unit has its own brush. 
And on the brushes, there's three sections. Um, so basically the brush goes all the way down to that red collar there. If uh, when the brush wears down from usage and heat, then you just, this is perforated. You just get a needle nose pliers and you snap that right off. So you get more length all the way down to here. Uh, there's round brushes and there's square brushes. You can see where the solution goes right, that just threads right on. If you ever do need to get the serial number off the, off the unit, it's right back here by the cord. So you can take a picture of that, we can track exactly when the, when the product was made, when it was sold, and track it like that under for warranty issues, that type of thing. You got a regular 110 outlet, plug this in, the product is grounded, and we're going to turn this on and clean up this well. I'll show you how this works. Now you see that, that kind of smoked a little bit more because we didn't have a lot of, I didn't have a solution on the brush. So if the brushes get dry, they'll burn like that. So you don't want them to get dry. You want to make sure you got enough solution to clean the weld up. Can we turn that up? Not, not a whole lot of solution. This to see what that does, like just to see the effects. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do that shortly. Are you still pushing the button on there? No. I, see, I have this on, I have that on automatic yeah. up here. So if you put it over here on manual, then you got to hold that. Then you got to hold that down. That's yeah, pretty slick. It's slick right there. Look at that. If you really want to see this. So that cleans the weld up. Yeah. Put that off. Put that on the cradle. Now the trick here is that you don't want that to dry. You let it's it's clean. It's done its job. So you want to have a rag. You, you can use paper towels, um, cotton <laughs> cotton rags, microfiber cloths, but you want to have a clean rag to wipe that off with. You wipe that down. So you don't want to go have a cigarette break or go have lunch and then come back. If it's dry down there, it could cloud up. So you want to make sure you get the cleaning solution off of there. And then you go, you want to go in with your neutralizer, which is the Surfox N. And you spray that on there like that, a little coating of the neutralizer. Let that sit for a minute or two. And then you can wipe that off so it's not dripping all over, but I like to let that sit and do its thing for a little while, and then that's, that's going to passivate the, the weld there. You can see how nice that clean that. That was a slick, slick job. And that's, a, that's basically as simple as it is. So that technically takes, they say, 12 to 24 hours to totally passivate, mm -hmm. uh, and it will stop any rust issues down the road. That's basically how that works. If you guys want to give it a shot and yeah. try it out, you just need sure. some gloves here. Some gloves here. Yeah. Safety glasses. Power. Yep. I'm going to have to manually bottom one and release uh, the product. Top one's on. Top one's on. Yep, now you hear the pump go on. Yep. And then you got to hold this down, right? No, no, just that, that would be the off button. Oh, that's so, off. Okay, yeah. so it's ready. It's already got juiced. Oh, you can smell it too. That is right. not something you want on your skin. Yeah, the, the acid, you don't want to get that on your, your hands or your skin. The fumes are, you know, non-toxic. But uh, again, if you're in a confined area, you can blow that out with the air, air setting. Now, see if you hit the top button, if you get a little more solution. Now, I'm going to try something for you, okay? okay. I'm just going to turn this on to manual. Or I'm sorry, on uh, automatic. Automatic, yep. So then you'll have, you probably see a little more now. Hit the yep. top button. There you go. Now you get a little more solution coming out the brush. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. Nice. And that's, that's so essentially, when you see those sparks, you need more solution because you're burning. Yeah, you don't yeah. have that kind of the case. Correct. Okay. Yeah, it's dry. All right, so we're going to push off. It is so much trial and error. error. You get a feel for it. Okay. I'm going to clip this yep. off. Turn that off. Now we got to wipe her down. Correct. Wipe her down. So no, that's too much. So it's good to have two separate cloths to wipe down with. Uh, you can use paper towels, you know, one for cleaning, and then one for neutralizing. Yeah, that's good. I want to spray a little of this on. Let's yep. uh, spray your neutralizer on there. Good. And I like to let that sit let for sit. a couple yep. minutes. That's a slick unit. 
and then you just kind of clean that up with that. An easy way to clean. Yeah, it's very that's, simple. That's just, that's convenient. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up now. Yeah, you just basically wipe that off so it's not dripping all over. And then that, now that's gonna passivate. Yep. Which makes the chromium layer come back up, meet, meet with the oxygen, and then seal off. Maybe a lot of work cleaning with that piece. Yeah, yeah sure. one shift, I mean one shift. Yeah, pretty slick. That. that is slick. 